Well, it seems like too that bringing kind of the white story and the um, Oklahoma territory in, in a little bit, that by the time Oklahoma territory comes into existence, we almost have like a clash of three, three different attempts of civilization, right? We have the native attempt, we have the African attempt, and then we have the white attempt of how do you how do you civilize this territory, quote unquote. Yes, um, and Oklahoma Territory is really, like that's where you see the start of um, kind of discriminatory legislation that then becomes part of Oklahoma's estate later on. Whereas in Indian Territory, uh, you, for the most part, don't have that. Mm -hmm. So yes, it is kind of two different cultures coming together and some of those become part of Oklahoma, but for the most part, uh, the state really is kind of the realization of white settler dreams, not any of these kind of other settler groups who had hoped to make this space their home. And go with Oklahoma then, how, how does that state, like, I mean, we have that native vision, we have the African-American dreams here. How does this state go so off the track that it turns into something that is akin to like deep South Mississippi or Alabama when it comes to race relations, discrimination, I mean, lynchings that you mentioned in the book? I think that kind of goes back to the question of is Indian Territory, is Oklahoma the South or the West? Mm -hmm. uh, you have a lot of Southerners moving there who take their values and their legislation with them. Uh, but then, of course, the five tribes are also Southerners themselves. And so they came with some of that culture. And so it's I almost see it as a Western space when there is more opportunity that becomes almost a Southern state. And I think you could almost watch that change happen in other Western territories as you get more uh, white migration. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, like when I talk about the state of Oklahoma and the racial kind of laws that they uh, pass after statehood, I think it's so interesting that I never knew that like possibly uh, kind of one drop rule legislation um, mm -hmm is in Oklahoma, like before it is in many parts of the South. Right. So like kind of what does that mean for our ideas of what the West is and kind of who is occupying these Western spaces? And, you know, often it's white Southerners. And so of course they're gonna bring those ideas with them and kind of change the ideas of a place, even if they're not necessarily changing the demographics yet. 